Welcome to this edition of Good News Today. And Caroline, I am stoked about today's show. Yeah, we have a return guest. You don't want to miss the show. Stay tuned. Welcome to Good News Today with Bob and Caroline Scott. And now, here's Bob and Caroline. Hey, welcome back, everybody. As promised, we have a phenomenal show uh, lined up today. We do. We have, as we mentioned, a return guest here. Yes. One that we love. And um, Dearly. he's brought a friend along. They're going to talk about, um, yep. an, you know, Stephen's story. I didn't introduce him yet, but Stephen's story, but also... Yeah. You know, um, the friend is going to talk about the ministry that kind of got his music started. Yes, and, and with that in mind, and without further ado, we are pleased to welcome back Stephen McWhorter, an anointed man of God, a worship leader, songwriter, <laughs> uh, as well as John Gordis with uh, Spirit Ministries. Welcome to Good News Today, guys. Yeah, thanks for having us. Praise thanks the Lord. Yeah, it, it's exciting to see and hear um, what God's doing and. You know, we've had the privilege, Caroline and I both, to uh, experience a little bit of Spirit Ministries and a lot of Stephen McWhorter's music. Uh, in fact, the, the first time we, we heard his music, this the anointing of the Holy Spirit just really came through so powerfully and so mm -hmm. strong. And, yes, uh, we just, knew we had to have him on our We show. were moved to tears, <laughs> yeah. you know, by it because it was uh, the real deal. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the only way I could describe it. And, just, just to see, you know, we talk all the time about our program. We overcome the devil by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. And Stephen has a very real testimony that we'll get into a little bit at the end of the show. We shared it uh, the last time he was on the program. Mm -hmm. um, but we really want to focus a little bit more about, uh, you know, as far as today's concern, on, on spirit ministries and, and, and what right. you guys are actually doing. And uh, it really is one of the coolest things I, I think I've ever experienced, you know, and certainly here locally, you know. and getting out and seeing the facility, um, you know, off Iron Bell. the Iron Bell, the Iron Bell uh, off, what road is that? Aiken Road. Off Aiken. Aiken Road. Right, right off Old Henry. It, it, it's a, it literally is a, the only way I can describe it, it's, it's, it's a jewel. Mm -hmm. That's a great, you know, that's a great description. And, and it, it really, it, it just in the middle of nowhere, you know, mm -hmm. and you just get out there and you see this rustic log cabin, which I just found out today that an ancestor of Daniel Boone owned. Is that well, it's uh, Daniel Boone's brothers is uh, what, Historically, we believe it to be. And okay. So Daniel was, Boone's was, brother's cousin's brother. <laughs> Twice removed by marriage. Yeah. Yeah, but Some it's, dude. <laughs> it's a beautiful property. And, yeah, uh, tell God, us about God the Iron is, God has used it so mightily. It was, uh, the ministry, Spirit Ministries, mm -hmm. was started uh, by Greg and Shelley Diedrich. And Greg uh, used to be in corporate America, worked with Young Brands for, okay. for many years, uh, and previously with Tricon before they became Young Brands. And they just felt the calling of the Lord to begin uh, just pursuing Him Hallelujah. and ask the Holy Spirit to lead them into what the ministry would be. And it, it really was a uh, the Holy Spirit showing them one page of the blueprints mm -hmm. at a time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very slow journey. It was. It's unlike anything that I've ever experienced where mm -hmm. we... We're really led, mm -hmm. just led into what the details of the ministry were going to be. And like the children of Israel, that's really most of the time how, how the Lord leads. Yeah. Does. I think we want it to go a oh. lot faster. We know our plan, you know, what we have it all planned out. But um, it really is just a step-by-step, -step, slow process. Yeah, the, one of the mottos that is common uh, in our ministry is uh, God wants wants your heart and so mm -hmm. if he gives mm -hmm. you the plan ahead of time this yeah. is what he told greg several years ago he said greg if i give you this plan right now yeah. i know you you're going to go off and build yes. this thing without me and i'm going to lose your heart in the process yeah. he says i want your heart mm -hmm. either that or i think for myself if, if god revealed the plan i might be scared and run you know <laughs> be like no oh, you know i can't i can't that, do yeah. that you know yeah, so. if, we, if we had seen probably what it was going to look like today, mm -hmm. uh, four years ago, uh, we may have had that same reaction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, so how um, how did you guys get together? As Inter far as interesting story. You want to start? <laughs> yeah. You know, well, so, you know, just in a, the Lord kind of led me into a season of dryness, kind of wilderness yeah. a little bit. And during that, I just started coming, uh, a friend of mine, Greg Allen from Southeast, told me about the Iron Bell. Uh, Spirit Ministries. I started coming cool. on Wednesday mornings, just sitting yes. in the back We've been for there. a year. Yes. I just sit in the back for a and year we've done that. and just pray. <laughs> he never yeah. left. He brought a sleeping bag. <laughs> <laughs> he never who's left. The, who's the owner? He the lives there guy. now upstairs. 
know. Yeah. Is he brushing his teeth? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I just sat in the back of this place because it's, uh, it's it's just uh, it's yes. a horse barn that's been renovated into cool. a place of prayer and worship. Yeah. And I just sat in the back and just prayed and just let the Holy Spirit Hallelujah. minister to me for a year, not wow. singing or anything. Yeah. And uh, eventually one day they, uh, you know, after just praying, Lord, do you want me to use my gift here? You know, uh, one of them came up to me and said, Hey, we'd like for you to start being involved in the worship team. Yeah. They're like, so, Hey, you've been here long enough. It's time you <laughs> paid you your, your key. <laughs> and Joel and I were friends. Joel and I were friends before, and Joel's been there with them from the beginning. Really. Okay. And uh, and he's just he's an anointed songwriter, yes. worship leader as well. And we'll talk more about yeah. how that works. Yeah, I remember it was probably uh, a little over a year and a half mm-hmm. or so ago that Stephen went through what we call a summit, where we will take, it's like a two-day process where we take ministries or businesses through this, basically it's like kingdom building. It's like we're wow. going to take you through uh, scripture and say, this is this is what it looks like to partner with the Holy Spirit in any environment, whether you're mm-hmm. in ministry or business. And, and that's something, Joel, I really believe that God is doing today is looking for people whose hearts are pursuing, running after Him, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, you know, I shared a scripture the other day on my Facebook page about, you know, I think uh, Psalm 37, 4, delight yourself in the Lord, and, and He'll give you the desires of your heart. You know, knowledge Him in all your ways, and He'll direct your path, you know. And, and that's really what I'm hearing, and, 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 and I believe that He's speaking that to a lot of fellow believers, you know, right now that, you know, Caroline and I have talked often about our testimony where not that long ago we were what I called surfing Christians, one foot on the world and one foot on the cross, you know, and much like the church at Laodicea, you know, the Lord came and said, I want you to get serious, you know, with me and and get your foot out of the world or get get both feet on the world. Get the out of the flesh. You know? <laughs> For, yeah. for the very reason, because he loves us and he wants us to grow and he wants us to know him. Because the bottom line is, we're going to be with him eternally. Mm-hmm. You right. know. And um, we can know him now. Yeah, <laughs> and we can know him now. You know, and that's a good point because it really is about having a one-on-one relationship with the Creator who created everything that we we see around us. And you know, my, my uh, eight-year-old son on the way over here today was talking about you know the sun and. You know, and I was talking to him how God just made it where it's just the right distance. It's not too close to the earth, not too far away, you know, but it's, it's all in his hands. And it, you know, and it's an amazing thing when you really think, you know, how people can even say that there is no God. That, that's the thing that absolutely amazes me and yep. just blows me away. We got to pay some bills, mm-hmm. uh, but would you stay here? We're going to come back and talk a little bit more. Excellent. All right. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Good News Today. We are having a wonderful show today, Caroline, if I don't say so myself. And again, we're very blessed to have Stephen McWhorter uh, on the program, dear friend, dear brother in the Lord, anointed uh, worship leader, anointed songwriter, and his friend Joel Gertis with Spirit Ministries and the Iron Bell. It's just, right. it's just wonderful to, to yeah. hear how God is, is moving and just doing fabulous and marvelous deeds, you know, even, even beyond our wildest imagination. And I know great things are happening with you guys. Yeah, and we were just getting into kind of what Spirit Ministries is. Expand a little bit on that. Tell us tell us a little more about Spirit Yeah, Ministries. there's just some core components, and it's, it's basically based out of adoration. So um, mm-hmm. we call it the five keys. Mm-hmm. And basically there's kind of five steps just in our ministry that we, we like to talk about that are just really easy for people to wrap their minds around. Mm-hmm. The first one is having a healed view of God. So uh, a lot of us are carrying around wrong beliefs yeah. about yes. God. It's yes. like you're just not seeing Him rightly. You know, you know His Word, but maybe you don't really believe no, it. So yeah. what we try to do is teach people how to adore God and proclaim His names that He has given us through Scripture, Hallelujah. His attributes, His goodness, His kindness, names like Father, the I Am God. Yes. And what, mm-hmm. we, what we've recognized is as you become more... You're, your intimacy level with him is healed when you when you view him rightly. So the yeah. first key is a healed view. Then then we recognize that when that intimacy is built, you can hear him. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. And when you can hear, so hear him is the second key. And then once you can hear him, you can start getting his perspective on things. Mm-hmm. So then he might take you back and just there's all all this life that we may have uh, 
had some junk happen along the way. Mm-hmm. He says, I want, I want you to view that through my lens. I want you to be able to see what yes. I saw so I, you can rewrite your history yes. of, of what has Having. happened in your past. Yes. So there's a lot of emotional healing out of that. And then four would be, you have a purpose. Mm-hmm. Yes. Now you can know it because, one, you're healed, you're hearing them. And then that step five is he wants to partner with you. It's not just, I want to send you out, go get them. Yeah. That's what Greg would always say. Go, it's not go get them, champ. It's let's go get them, champ. Mm-hmm. Let, it's it's this partnership that he's like, mm-hmm. I'm with you. I'm let's your do, let's do this thing together. <laughs> yeah. Well, God is so phenomenal at making um, our messes our message, mm-hmm. you know, and how yeah. he how he really does. I mean, she says that all the time. Yeah, yeah. turns a mess into a message. Mm-hmm. It turns a complete mess, and I know he certainly did that in our lives, you know, for certain. Um, you know, again, without him, we we we're nothing. Mm-hmm. You know. Well, praise yeah. the Lord. Yeah, and so when you um, started there, and did it? Have you just seen it grow and explode? I mean, I know we kind of heard about it through social so, media. Yeah. So the doors really, uh, God's just been opening so many doors for the ministry, and uh, the coolest part about it is um, right now what, what you know my part, a big part of my part in it is the music ministry right. side of it, and the doors, the Lord's opening a lot of doors for the worship, original worship for Spirit Ministries. And so later on this year, we're going to be um, launching a full album. It's uh, wow. Worship, wow. worship and Adoration Prayer, uh, which um, God That Saves, which is the, the video you watch, and then is the first single mm-hmm. that'll yeah. be a part of that. And the whole concept behind it is one of the keys, which is adoration. It's mm-hmm. just this relationship with the Lord through mm-hmm. knowing who He really yes. is and then declaring that. And the concept would be like this. Um, if I'm just go to my wife and say, honey, I love you, mm-hmm. you know, that's good. But if I go to my wife and say, I love you because you're kind, yes, because you're a great mom, yeah. because you honor me and mm-hmm. love me and stand and, and support me. So I'm telling her why. Now, the intimacy level when I was saying yeah. I love you is like this, and that's good. But when I start telling her exactly why, it yes. goes like this. Absolutely. <laughs> so it's the, same, it's the same thing with the Lord. Analogy. It's the same thing with the Lord. When you start saying, Lord, I love you because you're the God that's good. Mm-hmm. I've seen how you've been good. Yes. Your word says that in Psalm 119.68 that you are good and all you do is good. Highly. And so you just start yes. declaring that to me. The next thing you know, the intimate level with the Lord just goes from here yeah. to here. And, and He is so good. And, and He is so awesome and so great and meets our every need. You know? And so when you, when you take that concept and then you apply it to what we're talking about, we want to do an entire worship project mm-hmm. that's focused around that. Now, is this going to be video as well? Yep. Mm-hmm. We're going to do the whole thing like you're going to see this video in a minute, but you'll also be able to buy the singles on iTunes, okay. which you can, God That Saves. You can get that now mm-hmm. on iTunes, God That Saves. You know, I, what's, what's blowing me away about your all's videos is, is how good they really are. Yeah, they're great. I mean, they really yeah. are. Yeah, the team that worked on that was ThoughtFly Produ- uh, Studios, and my brother Stuart McWhorter actually produced that. Really? And okay. they just did a phenomenal yes, job. Yes, it's so great. I want to make sure. It's, I- it's as good as anything nationally mm-hmm. that I've, I've ever seen. We've had people in Nashville say to us, can we hire those guys? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we go and we said, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes, we did. Well, absolutely. I want to talk about the Iron Bell a little bit because we've, we've been out there. Yes. Just um, tell us exactly what, I know you mentioned the Wednesday morning, mm-hmm. but you do other events there and then there's prayer there. You can, mm-hmm. you can ha- actually tell right. us a little bit about that. It really is a full ministry. Yeah, yeah. I would say right now, because the website's still in development, the best way to really kind of know just what's going on event-wise would be to go to the Facebook page yeah. and you go to facebook.com mm-hmm. forward slash Spirit, Spirit Ministries. ministries yes. So you can get all the information there. But we really have some core elements. Greg and Shelley love doing marriage coaching. Mm-hmm. So they'll do a lot of one on one coaching. We Much just needed. We yeah. just had a uh, workshop on uh, this previous week and uh, just a real blessing. Mm-hmm. Every week we've opened it up on Wednesday mornings from 7 to 10 a.m., mm-hmm. Thursdays, 5 to 8. The Wednesdays and anybody been, can come by. Anybody, anybody can come by. But yeah. the, what you experience at the 7 to 10 a.m. or the 5 to 8 on Thursdays, 7 That's to 10 a.m. on eight, Wednesdays. 5 to 8 p.m. on Thursdays. P.m., wow. sorry. Thank you, okay. Stephen. Mm-hmm. Oh, 5 p.m. You'd be there really early if you get five <laughs> <laughs> I'll go all the time. Right. So okay. Wednesday, 7 to 10 a.m., Thursdays, 5, 5 to yeah. 8 okay. p.m. But what you experience is just a time of soaking in place where you can just soak in his presence. Like soaking, and people are, yes. That may sound strange to some people. What does that mean? Basically, you just come, you sit, you can do your quiet time. Yeah. But we're, we're saturating the atmosphere in his worship. Yeah. So there's yeah. there's usually some live music or background going on. Stephen leads quite a bit. I'll lead. Some other worship leaders mm-hmm. will lead. But it's not corporately led. So people will come in. There's music. 
happening, but it's worshipful. People mm-hmm. can pray, they can meditate, they can journal, they can read. And, and just, you see all and of that. They're yeah. spending yes. time with them, but it's in a corporate environment, and it, it's, it's so powerful. You can I've come not experienced anything else as, like it. Yeah, mm-hmm. we, come and go as you please. Yes. You, if you want to be there for 10 minutes, for three yes. hours, do yes. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's just such a beautiful setting. I mean, it really uh, is. The, wow. day we, the morning we went out there was a beautiful morning. Mm-hmm. Um, and we were just like, we didn't want to leave, you know, but I had to be somewhere. <laughs> just the, I think the leaves were just starting to change, and it was, yeah. it was obviously in the fall. And just like I say, uh, wonderful setting and just being able to roll into that mm-hmm. and then have the awesome, awesome ministry, mm-hmm. you know, that's taking place locally here in Louisville, people. Yeah. <laughs> right. You know, uh, it's, it's just such a blessing. It really is. And it, and it pretty much is interdenominational. You're, you're open oh, to Oh, yeah. It, the great thing about our ministry, I think, is that it's not, it's not a know, church. Let's go save that thought. We've got to yeah. go to a quick break. We're going to come back. We're going to wrap that up and share some other things. So yeah. stay great. tuned. We'll be right back with Good News Today. Welcome back to Good News Today. We're blessed to have Joel Gertis and Stephen McWhorter on the program today. I know we don't have a whole lot of time in this segment, but Stephen, you got a powerful testimony. Share it with the folks at home right now. I once was blind, now I see. Go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Amen. Amen. So, no, yeah, uh, uh, over nearly 13 years ago now, I was a methamphetamine addict. There's a lot more to it than that. Yes. And uh, yeah. if you want to go to stephenmcquarter.com, yeah. you can see the CBN 700 Club piece that, that they, was did, awesome, on, that they yeah. did on that. Exactly. And you can check that out, stephenmcquarter.com or spiritministries.com. Both of those places you can find yes. that. So long and short of it is that I was a meth, uh, crystal meth addict over, like 13 years ago. Gave my life to Christ. He radically renewed me. Unbelievable. Like overnight. Overnight. Yeah. Um, man, Hallelujah. So uh, incredible. And so ever since then, he's just been bringing me into this intimacy. Now, the adoration, worship, and prayer aspect that we're talking about is that you say, God, I love you because you're this. Mm -hmm. So this song that you're about to hear, this video that you're about to see God that saves, is just that. Mm -hmm. So when I go to God, I say, God, I love you because you're the God that saves. Mm -hmm. Zephaniah 317. I was just about to say that verse. Yes, go ahead. Zephaniah 317 says, you know, the God is with us. He's mighty to save. You're the God that saves. Amen. And so I can go to him and say, I love you because you're the God that saves. Mm-hmm. Amen. Just like your word Amen. says. And I Amen. love you because you saved me, pulled me from the ashes of addiction, and are still making me new yes. like you. Molding. And what's Day cool about this praying, adoration prayer, is in that I never ask God for a thing. Mm-hmm. Amen. I just declare he is. So yes. I don't go to him and beg him, please save me. Please, 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 please. I just go, God, this is who you are. Mm-hmm. I love you. And that's faith and love, that intimacy of getting to know him. So that's what this song is really about. It's all about my, the Lord redeeming me from addiction and, and ransoming my life. And, and it really applies to everybody's situation. Yes, it does. Joel, we have 30 seconds for you. Would you mind praying for somebody? Oh, I, I know somebody needs to hear, hear your, your prayer right now. Uh, absolutely. Lord, we just thank you so much for the city we live in, for this region, for everybody that's yes. listening right now to Hallelujah. this broadcast. We just declare you right now as the God that saves. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's your name. Yes. It's the name that you gave yourself, and you cannot forsake who you are. It's who you are. It's your yes. nature. You're the, your Hallelujah. nature is the God that saves. You're a, you're, your nature is a father. Yes. So right now, um, if you're listening to this right now, just ask the Lord, yeah. God, I want you to be the God that saves for me. Yes. And you can move from just hoping that he does to praying a prayer of faith to just knowing that he does because you're going to start experiencing the God that saves. So, Lord, right now we just ask that you rush in to anybody that's praying that has addictions, mm-hmm. brokenness, yes. uh, hurts, pains, need. They're just desperate for you, Lord. You promise that you'll come in. You promise. Jesus. So we just we lean into you right now and we just thank Holly. you that you promise to do that. Hallelujah. Amen. Pray to prayer. Uh, Caroline, what do they need to do? Um, go to scottfamilyministries.org or Facebook Good News Today, and you can send us a prayer request. Stay tuned because uh, you'll see the God that saves. God bless you.
Thanks for watching Good News Today. For program information and prayer request submission, find us on Facebook.